should try to stay out of sight. You? Are you Cassandra of House Ayad? I am. I am Xanthi, Magistrate of Pitana. I have a noble task befitting someone of your high station. My son is to start his military training at the Agogi. My husband is away at war, and I have official business to attend to. Can you escort him for me? I can escort your son to the camp, Master. Good. He'll learn how to be a man like his father and brother, or he'll die trying. It will be my honor to take him to begin his education as a Spartan. You are an agent of Zeus. I don't pretend to know the thoughts of the gods, but I'm happy to guide your son. My youngest is a dreamer. His head is filled with boyhood stories. He must learn how to serve his nation first, and then his family. It's not an easy path. He will find glory as a true Spartan soldier, or die bravely in the attempt. There is no greater way to honor Sparta. You'll find the Agogi camp southwest of here, near the foothills of the mountains. Makarios, come here. Hello, I am Cassandra. I am honored to meet you, Eagle Banner. I can't wait to learn to fight like my brother Theoros, and to hear all your stories of deadly monsters and glorious adventures. This way, Cassandra. The Algogi is up in the mountains, so we get them closer to Olympos. What's it like being a mercenary? I do what I must to get by. My brother said the same thing about being a man in Sparta. We learn to fight, to die for our family and our country. I can't wait. You love your home, eh? I do. We are strong and we are free. And any man will happily give his life for his city, his fellow soldiers, and his children. So uh, how many children do you have? Oh, no, no. But when I'm older, I'm going to marry Athena, and will have the strongest sons. <laughs> well then. Do you know why a Spartan soldier can lose his helmet or spear without worry? But if he loses his shield, he is punished beyond all measure. Tell me. It is because a soldier needs his helmet and spear to defend only himself. But his shield is dearly important for the safety of his brothers and the whole battle line. What of your brother? Theoros? He's the best. He's amazing to watch in the games. He's fast and strong, and he can throw the javelin and discus farther than anyone. Oh, yes? I'm faster than anyone my age, but Theodos is like Heracles himself. He sounds like a god made flesh. He's my hero. He even sings like Orpheus. Do you want to hear me sing? The mother says I sing like a harpy. No, that's okay. I'll be glad to meet him. Kere, I bring you a new charge, trainer. Makarios, son of Serios. Yes, sir. I can't wait to see my brother. Quiet, boy. No questions. 
You'll focus on your own lessons and duties, and speak when spoken to. Yes, sir. You'll taste dirt and blood here. I'll force you to eat a thousand bitter lessons to harden you into the bronze shield your city needs. Yes, sir. Now, Mistios. You look like you've been in a few scrapes. A scrape or two? Hundred? I like to think I've given as good as I've gotten. <laughs> Spoken like a true warrior. What say we give these summer youths a spectacle? Show them a clash of titans! Let's give these kids a show, they'll sing off for years. <laughs> Wow, what a battle! You fought like Atalanta! Huh. You do fight with the strength of the gods. Now that we know you can fight, I have a serious matter to discuss. Oh? Two of my older students have gone missing. And I need someone I can trust to find them. They should know enough to take care of themselves. Yes. But the world is full of unexpected dangers, and I cannot leave my charges to investigate properly. I can look for them. Tell me what I need to know. What were their last orders? I had sent them to a lookout camp, where they were to survive on their own for a few days. It is up to them to treat it seriously. But when I went to check on them, there was no sign. What dangers did you expect them to face? The students learned to watch for wolves and bears, but I saw no spore. Hmm. Perhaps a different sort of beast. The two students who are missing are called Akamas and Theoros. Theoros? Makarios's brother? The same. I fear I have failed the magistrate. I'll look at the campsite and see what I can find. Burned patch. Someone dropped a torch in surprise. A lost shield. That is a bad omen. Signs of battle. A body. Hmm. He doesn't look much like Makarios or Xanthi. Must be the other boy. A trail. Someone ran towards the mountain heights. Could be Theoros. Found him. I 
I need to stay hidden. I knew someone would save me. My gratitude, warrior. I was certain I would not see another day. What's your name? Theoros. Your brother worships you, and will be overjoyed to see you. Makarios, has the time come for him to join the Agogi already? Yes, he already studies with trainer Iatrocles. Curse all of Olympus! He isn't ready for this. The world is tough, but if we look out for those we love, we can shield them from at least a little harm. I do not know that I can face my brother, all my brothers, again. Of course you can. Makarios worships you. But you can use that love to fuel your bravery and defeat your fear. Retrieve your shield from where you left it and return to the Agoyi. Soon you'll embrace your brother again. Thank you, my friend. I will. Please, tell my mother that her sons will do the family proud. What do you have to share with me, Mistios? Makarios is well placed at the Agogi. The trainer, Iatrocles, will be a hard taskmaster, but he will grow strong and brave. God's willing, he'll find a way to endure and thrive. 
It is not easy to send one's heart into the world. He's eager and bright, and he has Theoros there to guide and inspire him. They will support each other. You demonstrate the wisdom of Athena, Eagle Bearer. You are a blessing to this family. There are several in the region who could benefit from your presence, Eagle Bearer. Help them, inspire them, and I'll reward you. Give me their names. The farm owner, Laniki, as well as several of the town's important women, Zita, Zamia, and Zefxo. Who is this farm owner? Laniki runs the farm for her family. Recently, it has been underperforming. She blames the gods and believes the land is cursed. But I wonder if she's too quick to punish her Ilotes. What does Zita need? Her daughter, Zotheras, is as wild and headstrong as an untamed filly. Zita constantly prays for guidance, but I suspect Zotheras needs a more grounded hand to direct her. What should I know about Tamiya? She has two precocious children who rule the roost in the Agora. They reduce their tutors to tears and stir up the other age mates. She is hoping you can instill some respect in them. What can you tell me about Zefxo? Her husband is off training for war, and she specifically requested an audience with you for help with something quite personal. I'll find them and see what they want of me. May the Dioscuri watch over your path. Selimi rises. are the eagle bearer. Wonderful. Magistrate Xanthi has spoken highly of you. Very kind of her. So here's the thing. My children have promising futures, but they refuse to learn and study. They think they know better, but they can't recite a poem to save their lives. Where do I fit into this? They've heard of the eagle bearer and worship the ground you walk on. If you related an epic story to them, I bet they retain it and impress their tutors. It's an odd request, but uh, I've been asked to do stranger things. I'll do it. My children are waiting inside the temple of Dionysus Colonatas for today's epic story. The subject is Perseus, which they should know well, but seem to forget all one question. I know the story well, of course, but my preferred version may not be what your children expect. Do not fear. If you need a reminder, there are many relics related to Perseus in the hall adjacent to the temple of the Onesas Colonatas. Good to know.
Baron? Hello, I'm... The Eagle Baron. We've heard all about you. Are you going to tell us a story today? Do we have to listen? We've heard it a hundred times. Yes, that's me. And yes, I'm telling you a story. Let us sing with the voice of the goddess about the exploits of brave Perseus and the noble Pegasus. Acrisius, the king of Argos, was not a good man. He had one child, a daughter, Danai. Bitter that he had no son, he went to the oracle of Delphi and heard a prophecy that chilled him. Ooh, what was it? The oracle said Acrisius would be killed by his grandson. But Danai was unmarried and childless at the time. To protect himself, he locked Danai in a bronze room open only to the sky. Ooh! However, mighty Zeus saw the girl and fell in love with her. He transformed into a golden shower and seduced her. Danai gave birth to a son, Perseus. I knew it! King Acrisius couldn't kill the boy for fear of angering Zeus. So he put his daughter and grandson in a wooden crate and tossed them into the wild sea to be drowned. How horrid! Poor Perseus! Perseus and his mother Danai were rescued on the island of Seriphus. And Perseus grew up under the care of a kindly fisherman, Thictis. Lucky them! Did the gods help? Maybe. Perseus learned to swim and ride and fight, and how to be good and just, even though his father was only a fisherman. I can do all those things too! Good for you. Except swim. Or be just. Hush! Now, Victis' brother was the ruler of the island, but he was not a good man. He's scum. The cruel king of Seriphos, Dictis' brother, Polydectis, decided he wanted to marry Danai, for she was still beautiful and noble. But Perseus knows his mother does not want this. Dictis couldn't stop his brother, so it was up to Perseus to interfere and be annoying. <laughs> Christos, that's your job. I will keep this stinky king from marrying you. The cruel, uh, stinky king became angry. To get rid of Perseus, Polydectis sent him on an impossible quest. Prove yourself a warrior and fetch me a worthy wedding gift, the king said, by killing a great monster. I knew it! Shh, I knew it too. Polydectis told Perseus to bring back the head of Medusa, the Gorgon whose gaze could turn anyone who looked into her eyes to stone. Ah! Polydectis knew that Medusa would be Perseus' death. That stinker! But the evil king did not know Perseus was favored by the gods. Hermes gifted Perseus with winged sandals and a silver sickle, and Athena gave him a bronze shield. Polished, mirror bright. Perseus flew to Medusa's lair and used the shield to watch her reflection. He cut off her head with the sickle of Hermes. As she died, the winged foal Pegasus sprung from her neck. Yes! Flying home, Perseus found the maiden Andromeda chained on the Ethiopian cliffs, waiting to be sacrificed to the baleful sea monster Ketos. Perseus used Medusa's head to turn Ketos to stone. Rescued Andromeda, and married her. Take that, Ketos! Perseus returned home to find King Polydectes relentlessly pursuing the Nai. They quarreled, and Perseus showed the king his wedding gift. When he saw Medusa's head, Polydectes turned to stone. Yes! Perseus traveled to Argos with his family, and one day competed in the Great Athletic Games. He hurled the discus, and his throw was so great that it shot into the stands and struck King Acrisius. So doing, Perseus killed his grandfather and fulfilled the prophecy. Hurrah! You can't escape your fate. 
In the end, Perseus and Andromeda settled in Mykine as king and queen, and had seven sons and two daughters, the Perside. That was a great telling of the tale. I'll never forget it. Maybe the best. I can't wait to tell all my friends. Aw, oh, thank you. I couldn't help overhearing the end of your story. Truly inspiring, Eagle Bearer. Thank you. Ah, look at honesty. I told the story of Perseus to my tutor, and he said it was the best rendition he'd ever heard. My mother is so happy with us.